So I have here is an Elk Ridge Kukri. The blade is about ten to twenty dollars at Big Five. Uh, it's a pretty decent blade. Uh, I do not remember the steel. It's probably on here somewhere. I'll show you that in a bit. But um, one day running through the forest, I cut through this area, and I didn't realize it until I got home when I was walking around. I was laying down, and I saw the blade poking out. So I put these four rivets here, and it's pulled up ever since. The inside is actually pretty nice. It has, like, this rubberized texture. Um, and one day, I was hanging out with my friends, and we are throwing the, the knife around with a, with a little log out there. And it hit it a couple few times. It hit the ground a couple times we were on top of... Uh, the road and it broke off here's the other half of it so just to know what it looks like this blade this handle I mean is it's it's a great handle unless you until you break it it is not a full tang design it goes halfway down the uh, the handle here all right let's take this bad boy out so what I did to, to fix the handle is I put a lot of duct tape on it, and then I wrapped it around with this um, leather cord, or whatever you want to call it. It's worked fine ever since. So, let's see if this says what blade. Okay, so it's 440 stainless, 440 stainless steel from China. Um, it holds up pretty good. That's all I can really say. Uh... I've had a few kinks in it. You can probably see one somewhere around here. I just sharpened it the other day. But that's yep, right there. Let's see if I can hold this up somehow. Where's my leg? Let's see if we can find that again. Come on, focus. Well, there's a kink right around here. It's a tiny little bend. And that's all I got. And that's with me throwing at full strength. On, uh... When I hit the ground. And it was... it was. I didn't have to bend it back or anything. I just resharpened it yesterday. And that's the only problem I really had with it. Uh, it's pretty flexible. If you can see here. Let's see if it bends. Yeah. So I'm bending it. A little bit right now. I, I don't have anything really good to bend it on. Uh, but it goes back to shape. It holds its edge pretty well. It's already a thin blade to begin with. So even if you do chip it or dent it or what have you. The blade's already thin so it, it's going to cut pretty easily. Uh, it goes through cardboard pretty easy. I've chopped through pieces of twigs and wood and whatnot. And it was fine. Um, I did break the tip a little bit. But it wasn't that bad. Let's see if I can get this to focus. And then, not too long ago, I've sharpened this back area here, which is pretty nice. Um, I did some cuts with it yesterday. It did a fantastic job. But for a blade, well, I would call it a Wally World blade for about ten, twenty bucks. If if you're just a person that likes to go out to the woods, oh come on, focus. Person who likes to go out the woods and have some fun. Uh, this this also makes a really great everyday carry. Um, I do that. I do carry this quite often sometimes. Um, and the thing I like about this sheath here is that it has two safety mechanisms, or two, uh, yeah, safety mechanisms, I guess you would call it. You have your standard strap here, which this one's kind of a pain to put on ever since I put this, uh, the, the duct tape handle on here because it's a little thick, but it fits my hand perfectly. And this one, this, this is the main one I'm worried about, uh, I usually carry because you can't really pull it out from here. You can if you tried really hard, 
but if you want to for the most part, you would have to do it from there. Um, uh, like I said earlier, this is great for uh, slashing if, if you're using it for self-defense or what have you. Uh, chopping, not so much because it is a very thin and light blade. Like, it feels a little top-heavy, but it's because of the kukri design. And stabbing, it... I like the stabbing on this thing. It, it, it did better than I thought it would when I first picked it up. Um, well, this is my first review on a knife. And that is the Elkridge Kukri that I got from Big Five. Uh, I have other blades that I'm going to be doing soon, like this true thrower combat knife from cold steel uh, so far no complaints I have the Hispanicus Maximus or the Gladius from cold steel and I have a over there a SOG fast hawk it is the smaller version I just realized I put into the whiteboard um that's Pretty much it. Uh, I'll be doing those other videos soon. Uh, if there's any other products you would like me to do, I will definitely try to do some research and get it done. Alright, thank you.